Hello children, welcome to our previous class. So in the previous class, I told about the different body parts and different organs. Eyes, nose, ears. Eyes, nose, ear, tongue, skin. The organs are controlled by brain. Okay, children. So here, our body is made up with the made up of cells. Cells join together to form as a tissue. Tissues join together to form as organ. Organs join together to make a system. As children, so here are some systems. What are that? Respiratory or breathing system. Breathing or respiratory system. Circulatory system. Digestive system and excretory system. Okay. So today we are going to learn about these systems. So our body has a so many organs. So organs connected together to do a particular work. And these organs join together and form as a system. Okay, means the organs which do the same work, which do the same work that uh, combine and form as a system. And they okay, pani chase it at okay, pani chase it at when organs and nipura kalisi, okay, system the form out there. Okay, children, did you understand here? So today, first one breathing or respiratory system. Breathing or respiratory system. So this system helps us to take fresh air and send out the impure air from the body. So what are the respiratory organs in our body? Lungs are the respiratory organs of our body. What are the respiratory organs? Lungs are the respiratory organs of our body. Okay children. So the Exchange of gases takes place in the lungs. Okay, children, the exchange of gases takes place in the lungs. So, we breathe through the nose. We breathe through the nose. So, we observe hay present in the nose. So, what is the use of the hay? Means, it prevents the passing of dust particles and germs into the nose, into the nose from the nose to lungs okay children means the hair has dust particles and germs so here the hair is present inside the nose that prevents the passing of dust particles and germs into the into the nose okay children so here then the air here it is a windpipe what is it windpipe so from the nose the air passes into the lungs through the windpipe Okay, children. Here, exchange of gases takes place in the lungs. So, these lungs, are you seeing here blood vessels? Yes. So, here, these blood vessels present in the lungs take oxygen from the air. The air is entering from the nose to, entering from nose to the lungs. Yes. So, air has the oxygen. So, oxygen is taken up by the blood vessels. Oxygen is taken up by the blood vessels present in the lungs. Then impurities like carbon dioxide and water vapor will be sent out through nose when we breathe out. So we are taking oxygen as we are breathing in and we are breathing out. So we are breathing in air and we are releasing oxygen and sorry carbon dioxide and water vapor. Okay children. We are releasing carbon dioxide, water vapor. These are the impurities. Yes. Uh -huh. So we are taking pure air through nose inside and we are breathing out impurities like carbon dioxide, water vapor. Okay children. So we are taking oxygen and that is absorbed by the blood vessels and these blood vessels transfer the oxygen to every part of our body. So every cell. So our body is made up with so many number of cells. Yes. So every cell need oxygen. So the oxygen is transferred to every part of a cell and that cell uses oxygen to burn the sugar. To burn the sugar in the body and releases energy to work. Okay children, we are taking food. That food also digests in our stomach, small intestine and that is also absorbed by the blood vessels 
and the digestive food also transfer to every part of our cell so every cell has food is yes? food with sugar only okay so that sugar is burned with the help of oxygen so every object burn in the presence of oxygen only is yes? so our food also present the food which is present in our body that also burn with the help of oxygen and it gives energy to work so keep your hand on your chest like this breathing then your chest your chest expands means move in front as yes, children then breathe out your chest goes inside means that contracts when we breathe in air the lungs expands means the size of the lungs increases and the chest move moves forward so when we breathe out means we are breathing carbon dioxide carbon dioxide to outside we are breathing out carbon dioxide then the lungs contract then the lungs contract and become mean contract mean the, that become small in size okay children when we breathe in the air enters into the lungs and the size of the lungs also in, the size of the lungs increases and the just chest moves forward okay but when we breathe out the chest contracts okay children and what precautions we should take so what are the breathing habits what are the breathing habits breathe through your nose only some people while sleeping they open their mouths and they breathe through the mouth like this yes but we should not breathe through the mouth we should breathe through our nose okay and some members they cover their face while sleeping totally yes so we should not don't cover the face completely okay while sleeping and next don't wear tight dresses on the chest and waist waist chest means here and waist means this one okay so don't wear tight dresses on the chest and waist and keep the windows and rooms open keep the windows and rooms open and go to gardens and parks and breathe fresh air go to gardens and parks and breathe fresh air that is in the morning and evening not in the afternoon okay go to the parks and gardens in the evening or in the morning and breathe fresh air then the fresh air keeps your body and mind fresh and also healthy okay children here yeah, one sari body systems our body consists of a number of organs these organs are connected together to do a particular kind of work these organs form a system breathing or respiratory system this system helps us to take in fresh air and send out the impure air from the body we breathe through the nose the air in the nose prevent the dust particles and germs from going into the nose the air then goes into the lungs exchange of gases takes place in the lungs the blood vessels in the lungs take oxygen from the air impurities like carbon dioxide and water vapor will be sent out through nose when we breathe out oxygen in the lungs helps to burn sugar in the body and gives us energy to work when we breathe in the chest expands the chest expands expands means becoming big pedal ka avad okay and when we breathe out the chest contracts chinnadi avad okay breathing habits breathe through your nose only do not cover the face while sleeping do not wear tight dresses on the chest and waist keep the windows and rooms open go to gardens and parks and breathe fresh air and next one is the digestive system next one is the digestive system so here what are the organs mouth food pipe stomach small intestine large intestine and this is anus okay these are the organs present in this system means these organs 
connected together to form a particular work. Okay, children. So these organs form as a these organs join together to make a system. What is this system? Digestive system. So here the digestion starts. The digestion of food begins with our mouth. With our mouth means we take food. We take food through our mouth and we chew the food with the help of our teeth. We chew the food with our teeth. Means so we take the food that are bigger in size, bigger particles, but by chewing. we can make the complex food particles into simple particles with small small pieces by chewing the food by chewing the food with the help of the teeth we can make the food particles into small small pieces so here some salivary glands are present in the mouth so that releases salivary juices into the mouth ummi antama mana that is saliva so when we are by chewing the food that saliva means salivary juices mix with the food and make it as a soft make it a, make it as a soft okay children then from the mouth the food enters into the stomach through the food pipe here are you seeing this is the food pipe okay children so with the from here from the mouth the food enters into the stomach through food pipe so here some juices are present in the stomach some digestive juices are present that digestive juices makes the food into soluble form means it dissolves karigi povadam anadu soluble form means karigi povadam kalisi potundi mottam inga Means it is in a liquid form. Okay, so the food passes from the mouth to stomach. In the stomach, there are some digestive juices. The juices makes the food into soluble form. So after about four to four hours, the food passes into the small intestine. The food passes into the small intestine. Here, the food completely digested. Here, the food will be completely digested, and that digested food. absorbed by the blood vessels so here yeah, the small in, small intestine has a blood vessels so the blood vessels absorbs the digested food from the small intestine so here yeah, the digested food is in the soluble form as yes? so that digested food is absorbed by the blood vessels and transferred to every part of our body means the blood carries the digested food to every part of our body then the undigested food enters into the large intestine and that sends sent out sent out through the anus okay children so what are the organs present in the digestive system mouth stomach small intestine large intestine and anus anus means this is used to send out the waste from our body means that is undigested food okay so daily so we send the waste okay that is through the anus okay children so what is the digestive system so we take food into we take food okay and we chew the food We chew the food in the mouth with the help of our teeth. By chewing, some gelatin, salivary juices mix with the food and make it as a soft. And that food, the food passes into the stomach through the food pipe. And here some juices, digestive juices, mix with the food and for and make it into a. soluble form and after 4 hours the food enters into the small intestine and here the food completely digested food will be completely digested and that digested food is absorbed by the blood vessels and that 
food transfer to every part of our body through blood okay means the blood carries digested food to every part of our body okay then undigested food passes to large intestine and large intestine send out the undigested food to the anus okay children so this is digestive system see ya digestion of food begins with mouth we take food through our mouth the teeth in the mouth chew the food and break it into small particles the salivary juices in the mouth mix with the food and make it soft the mouth the stomach the small intestine and the large intestine are the parts of this system the juices in our stomach make the food into soluble form after about 4 hours the food passes into small intestine the digested food in the small intestine is taken by blood and carried to different parts of the body the undigested food passes to large intestine and then sent out of the body through the anus the next one circulatory system what is the next one circulatory system so here what are the organs present in the circulatory system heart blood red vessels heart blood red vessels okay these organs combine together and form as a form as a circulatory system so here this system is made up of heart blood and red vessels okay so here the heart works like a pump the heart works like a pump so the heart pumps the blood to different parts of the body through blood vessels are you seeing here like a branches so these are the blood vessels so the heart pumps the blood to different parts of the body through blood vessels so the blood carries digested food and the oxygen to different parts of our body and brings the unwanted materials brings the unwanted materials to excretory organs excretory organs for example here the heart the heart supplies the means here blood the heart pumps the blood to different parts of the body through blood vessels okay means here this blood vessels carries oxygen and digested food to different parts of the body so here the different parts of the body are using oxygen and release carbon dioxide as yes? again when this passes when blood vessels brings the oxygen to that part it takes oxygen and releases carbon dioxide into the blood again that blood goes to the heart and this from this heart the blood goes to the lungs so if they again the blood mixes with the oxygen and releases carbon dioxide means here the heart pumps the blood to different parts of the body through blood vessels so it carries digested food and oxygen to different parts of the body and it takes unwanted means waste materials unwanted materials it takes unwanted materials from the different parts of the body and sent to the sent to the excretory organs excretory organs means lungs is a excretory organ means it it send out it sends out carbon dioxide from the body that is waste you no know? carbon dioxide is waste material in our body so that send out the carbon dioxide is sent uh, sent out through the nose okay children So here, yeah, circulatory system. This system is made up of heart, blood, and blood vessels. The heart works like a pump. It pumps the blood to different parts of the body through blood vessels. The blood carries digested food and oxygen to different parts of the body and brings unwanted material to excretory organs. The next one excretory system 
So excretory system is used to send out the waste from the body. Excretory system is used to send out the waste materials to remove the waste materials from the body. Okay, children. So here yeah, this system removes waste materials from the body and sends it out. So what are the excretory organs? Kidneys, lungs, and skin. Kidneys, lungs, and skin. These are the excretory organs present in our body. So the kidneys are used. Kidneys are used to send or to throw waste material from our body that is in the form of urine. Urine is a waste material. Yes. So the kidneys are used means kidneys throw the waste matter from the body in the form of urine. Kidneys weight ni body pump is urine. Okay children. Next the skin sends out sweat as waste. We get sweat. Yes. So the skin sends out sweat. The skin sends out sweat. And the lungs send out the lungs send out carbon dioxide from the body. These are urine, sweat and carbon dioxide. These are the unwanted materials. So these are send out these are sent out by the excretory organs. What are the excretory organs? Kidneys, skin, lungs. Lungs send out the carbon dioxide from the body. Skin excrete the means uh, skin sends out sweat in the form of a sweat that is as waste and kidneys throw out the waste in the form of urine. Okay children did you understand here? Good. This system removes waste material from our body and sends it out. The kidneys, the skin and the lungs are the main organs of this system. Kidneys throw out waste matter in the form of urine. Urine means toilet. Okay. The skin sends out sweat as waste. The lungs send out carbon dioxide from the body. Did you understand this lesson, children? 